Okay, before we start, I am not condoning turning off the headphone safety feature. It's there for a very good reason. And I know I sound like a bit of a dinosaur, but I don't see the need to listen to music at a level that's potentially going to damage your hearing. So my recommendation is to keep this feature enabled. That said, I can see that it's a problem for many people, and I think this stems from a limitation when playing music through a Bluetooth speaker. Your iPhone thinks you're blasting music through your headphones, when in fact you're actually blasting music through a speaker. If this is happening to you, you may simply need to go into your Bluetooth settings, click on the information icon next to your Bluetooth device, and set the device type to speaker rather than headphones. But if this doesn't fix it, you can try disabling headphone safety notifications. Now the weird thing about this feature is that the option to disable it appears twice in settings, in two separate locations. The first under sound and haptics in headphone safety, but you can also get to it by going to accessibility, and if you click on the audio and visual, there you'll see another option to turn off headphone notifications. I guess they do different things, but if I disable it here and then go back into sound and haptics, you can see that it's now disabled here too. Let me know in the comments section if you know the difference between these two settings, because to me, it appears that they do the same thing. A couple of things to note before you go is that rather than turning off headphone safety, you might prefer to enable reduce loud sounds, which when enabled allows you to set a maximum level of decibels and it gives you an indication of what those decibels compare to. So at the bottom end, you can limit decibels to about the level of a vacuum cleaner, and at the top end, it's about the level of an ambulance siren. Enabling these settings may reduce the number of headphone safety notifications you're getting. The other thing to note is that in some countries and regions of the world, these notifications are mandatory. So if you disable the setting and you're still seeing headphone safety notifications, it's probably because you live in one of these countries. So that is how to turn off headphone safety notifications. Another issue that many iPhone users are suffering with is incoming calls being silenced for no apparent reason. Well, if this is happening to you, then here's the fix. So here's an interesting one. Apparently lots of people are having an issue where their iPhone is silencing incoming calls and diverting them straight to voicemail. Now your immediate thought is probably that the phone is set to do not disturb. And this is where you would usually go to silence your phone. However, if you're having this problem and you're confident all your do not disturb settings are disabled, then there are a few more options you can try. The first is to make sure you don't have call forwarding enabled and that silence unknown callers is also disabled. You can find both of these options by opening settings and scrolling down to phone. Call forwarding is there in the middle of the list and near the bottom of the page is the option to silence unknown callers. When this setting is enabled, any call from an unknown number will be diverted straight to voicemail and I imagine it was introduced to discourage telemarketers and scammers. However, if you think you might receive legitimate unknown number calls, then it's probably worth keeping this option disabled. If that doesn't solve your issue, another place to look is in screen time settings. Back in settings, click on screen time and choose communication limits. If you have screen time enabled, it's possible to block some phone calls during both screen time and outside of it. To be sure you don't miss a call, you want to set both of these to everyone. So those are the less obvious places to look which might be causing incoming calls not to ring. If you're still having trouble, then of course the most obvious place to check is do not disturb, and you want this set to off as well as the scheduled option. And it's worth maybe just double checking that you don't have your volume turned down to zero. If none of these things work, then you're getting to the point where you might need to call Apple, which you can do by browsing to support.apple.com and clicking on Get Phone Support. So there we have it. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.